Like all of you, we at Morgan Stanley were disappointed that we had to cancel this year's Catalyst Awards conference and dinner due to current events. But the health and well-being of each and every one of us must always come first. While we can't celebrate in person this year, we can always applaud excellence. And the 2020 Catalyst Award winners, Deloitte, Medtronic, and Unilever have so much to be proud of. They're part of a distinguished roster of organizations from around the world that have created groundbreaking diversity and inclusion programs that change workplaces, communities, and lives. I also want to acknowledge the extraordinary power and impact of the Catalyst organization. I've served on the board of Catalyst for the past three years, and I've had a chance to see up close the first class work they do to help companies across the globe create workplaces that work for women. Closer to home, they're a great partner to Morgan Stanley, and we're fully committed to supporting their mission. Our chairman, James Gorman, has signed the CEO Champions for Change pledge, and we gave a million dollars to last year's Major Gifts campaign, where we directed the funds toward Catalyst's work on leading for equity and inclusion. Finally, I want to recognize the impactful leadership of Lorraine Harridan, Catalyst President and CEO, and Marilyn Hewson, Chair of the Catalyst Board. We all know that change starts at the top, and Lorraine and Marilyn continue to set a decisive tone that is helping accelerate the pace of change at more than 800 organizations that partner with Catalyst. For more than 35 years, I've been a woman in the workplace and in a historically male-dominated industry. And I can tell you that we've seen some real progress over that time. I joined Morgan Stanley in 1984 right out of college. There were very few female role models in the industry, no women managing directors at the firm, and no diversity and inclusion programs. Women had to figure it out pretty much on their own. Fast forward to today, and Morgan Stanley, like so many firms, understands the incredible impact on productivity, innovation, and hiring top talent that results when we include women and diverse employees in the conversation and at the table. That said, there is still much more work to do, and I believe that today we find ourselves at an inflection point. Now is the moment when we can harness all we've learned and all the work we've done so far to turbocharge the pace of change in the years ahead. All of you are already committed to driving change in your workplace, but now we need you to take it to the next level. So accelerate your numbers of women in executive leadership, make sure your workplace allows women to thrive, keep a laser focus on inclusive leadership, and engage more and more men as advocates, sponsors, and partners. Be agile and intentional in all you do, because together, we've got this.